societies were jittery. The Georgia Protection was ahead of Sherman, but its name, smirched round the world by the attack on U.N. Ambassador Adlai Stevenson last month, would not be dragged through the mud again. There were heavy police forces all along the route. All possible troublemakers had been searched out and warned. All but one. The downtown streets. In the first press stop, we strained to catch any signs of the hostility the Dallas precautions had led us to expect. Now watch the right side of your screen. The arrow points to one of two agents whose job was to hop aboard the bumper and act as human shields. He's obviously perplexed. Watch as he shrugs his shoulders three times in dismay, each shrug more dramatic than the last. All we saw was a vast and friendly crowd, but m many thousands of welcome jack signs. It's approaching 12.30 p.m. Dallas time. The crowds in the tall business district are overpaid turns the corner into a parkway. The crowds are thinner. NBC cameraman Dave of building, then three shots are heard, like toy explosions. Wigman jumps from his car, running towards the president with his camera running. People scream and lie down, grabbing their children. I leave the motorcade and run after police who appear to be chasing somebody. The motorcade moves off fast. We don't know it, but the president is mortally wounded in the head and throat. His car races to the hospital. All but one. Police find no one and return. Looking for a phone, I go into an office. It's on the ground floor of this building. The Texas School Book Depository. All but one. Man with a rifle in a window upstairs. Witnesses come up. They saw the president hit. Just as Mary started to take the picture and the president became, came right even with us, two shots, we looked at him and he was looking at a dog in the middle of the seat, two shots rang out. All but one. The seat, two shots rang out and he grabbed his chest and a look of pain on his face and fell across toward Jackie and she uh, fell over on him and said, my God, he's shot. And uh, that t uh, there was an interval and then three or four more shots rang out, but that time the motorcade had sped away. This is the rear of the presidential limousine. The back bumper is specially designed with a platform on both the right and left sides. There are also handrails on both sides of the trunk. This is where the agent should have been to provide the president even minimal measure. Each shrug more dramatic than the last. Oh. 